And now I am back here with another interview, this time with the man who is going to be challenging Kid Ransom later tonight for the UPW Texas Championship, none other than Rottweiler, Jay Davis. You're doing pretty good, boy. You're getting paid pretty good for your, for your announcing and stuff, huh? I like how you said my name. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Thank you. But uh, it's not about me right now, man. It's all about you. It's always about me. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> you have huh? you have a championship. All right, welcome back to UPW Battlefield. We have on tap a championship match. And it's a three-way match featuring that man right there, Jay Davis. The Rottweiler, Jay Davis. The only thing I don't like about Jay Davis is the people he aligns himself with. But that's about it. That is the list. And by people, you mean Johnny Blade. Johnny Blade. But one of the hottest young talents in all of Texas wrestling. You know, we used to come out and say that he reminded us of, of a very young junkyard dog. Yeah. Yes. But lately, Jay Davis is, is coming into his own. No more references to that because the man is the Rottweiler. Now we're going to have these young cats saying they remind us of Jay Davis, the Rottweiler. Yes. Because he has been tearing it up so much in, in every, every place I've seen him at. Yes, uh, we, we've said it before, but I'll say it again, reiterate. Blade Enterprises members are always great in the ring. They they're, they're have questionable personalities. But they're a menace out of the ring. They're a menace out of the ring. Sometimes a menace during the matches. But, man, can they wrestle? Can they go? Well, as I said, this is a triple threat match for the Texas title. We're, we have somebody else here. And they're, they're fixing to come out. Steven Sutler, let us know who's coming out here. <laughs> Anthony Macaluso. Whoa! Now, what do you think of that? Is there a word for feather jealous? Because whatever that word is, I am right now. You're featherless. The hat, you do have one feather. The feather in my hat is no comparison this to meant, these two men walking to the ring right now. So Tribal is the one that is going to be in this matchup for the Texas title. Tribal we have not seen here before at UPW, but we have seen the person that's accompanying him, and that is none other than Sumate. Sumate we will see later on tonight in our main event of the evening. It will be a grudge match between him and Titan. The last time we were here in Pasadena, Texas, Titan busted out an axe are, are you in response died. to Sumate busting out a Bowie are, knife. Are you talking about that one time you almost lost your life? I almost <laughs> lost my life. If it wasn't I remember that. for Hawkeye Security, you wouldn't be here tonight. Right. I, but now, that's right. Now Hawkeye Hawkeye Security is no longer here. No. But we, right have now Hawk, we have the Hawk Security. Mullet team. The Mullet team. Team Mullet, I think they call themselves. Yes. Mullet Security of Hawk. I mean, look, look at what's going on over there. And I Commissioner mean, Doug. You, you, may, you may have just barely missed it. You may have just barely oh, missed Lordy, it. Johnny Blade coming in. Yeah, but y you saw Sumate over there intimidating Hambone. And, you know, ugh, that's, uh, that's a lot of man. And he's very so, intimidating. Wait a minute. This is for the Texas title. Yes. So that means we are going to have a ring full of Cowboys and Indians and Jay Davis. I mean, yeah. Have we ever yeah. seen this scenario play out before? I mean, there was that Western. I think they call them, I think it's a, the proper term is Native Americans. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to say the wrong <laughs> thing around You're these right. two You're because right. these two, uh, they can mess you up. I, th I believe that you had interviewed these gentlemen at some point today as yes, well. Yes, yes, that was earlier today as well. You that, also look frightened. I was very frightened. I, saw, I saw a piece of it. I didn't really want to bring it up because I was a little scared. Uh, not going to lie. This was a, a tough interview to conduct between these two. It was really more with just Sumate because Ooh. Tribal didn't say anything. He was just standing back, looking intimidating, which uh, isn't very hard for him. Steven Steller having to hold the ropes for him. Yep. Had to open it very wide. You know. There's a Steven lot of Steller. men. He's, he's a gentleman. He's he a gentleman. <laughs> and here comes the champ. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, you hear that music. He's been a long time staple here in Texas. He is none other than Kid Ransom. I'm just feeling that music, bro. Yeah, man. Just feeling the music. I've had the pleasure of knowing this man for such a long time. He has gone all up and down all over Texas. He has cut his teeth right here in the Houston area. Oh, we're waiting for him to come in one way. Again, Ransom appears out of nowhere in the back of the arena. That is Kid Ransom. He is the horse fight. The Texas wild card. Our undisputed pro wrestling Texas champion, Kid Ransom. Look at that, man. I love that he gives his gear to little kids every time. Oh, yeah. I love it. That's true. That's so, true. Tonight, is he Kid Ransom, or does that makeup symbolize that he is the writer? You know, I, I've been trying to figure it out. Like I said, I've known this kid for a long time. This kid. This man who is named Kid for a long time. I've known him for a long time, and there's something different about him now. He's darker. He, he's more silent. He's not as jovial, but I still see the same Kid Ransom underneath this new exterior that... I just, I don't know what to make of it, you know? Yeah. Steven Steller bringing our beautiful Undisputed Pro Wrestling Texas Championship over here to the commentary table. But again, we have, I'm going to say it, I don't care, Cowboys and Indians and Jay Davis <laughs> and Jay in the Davis. ring right now. And, and, and Johnny Dogs. Blade. Johnny Blade outside well, Rottweilers. There's Woo! Johnny Blade, yes. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. How many... How many managers do we have in this match? Just one? Just one, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. This, this night's been very manager heavy. I, I'm, I'm a little worried about Hambone. Not <laughs> yeah, only you don't have to worry about him. is you know he why? a national treasure. Well, I don't want to see that national treasure harmed. Typically, people steal treasure. That's right. right. What are you trying to say about the people that are in the ring right now, Abel Morales? Uh, nothing. Uh, you had to bring up stealing with all the people. Anyways, you, we'll talk about that later. Say? Else. I, you were trying to say it. I wasn't trying to say nothing. This match is underway. Some of the biggest powerhouses we have here tonight. Putting words in my mouth. I didn't, I didn't say anything, Morales. I'm just trying to get where you're going, brother. <laughs> oh, it looks like the tables have turned on Ransom. Are we going to see some sort of camaraderie? Johnny Blake making too. his way to the announce table. Look, I know what you, I hear you all talking about. Uh, I don't uh, like it. Uh, Johnny, you suck. They announced you. We have John to talk about you. Come <laughs> on. It's because you suck. <laughs> I mean, we technically are doing our job. That's not true. That's random. It's not going to be Blade in the Prize. Johnny Blade over here well, just jawjacking with us like we have anything to do with it, but we don't. He should watch his job. Yes. I mean, watch your guy in the ring, man. Wow. Can't believe it. <laughs> Steven Stiller offering to give us a chair so that we could take care of Johnny Blade. Steven <laughs> Stiller's way better than that last announcer we had. He's trying to help us. Hey, 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 hey. The last two. Let me say that. There <laughs> <laughs> ah, we go. Back to the match here in Pasadena, Back Texas. To looking, look at, oh, oh. No glow in front of You can't trust Davis. the Rottweiler. That's all I'm saying. I ain't hating it. I mean, ain't he, hating it. He definitely takes his opportunities. Johnny Blade's wrapping that fist. It's kind of hard to dub, watch baby. all of Dub's a dub. Oh, mullet team security doing nothing about it. <laughs> Would you try to stop Johnny Blade? Uh, you know, it's a three-way, you know? It is a three-way. No DQ. Shh. Oh, he quieted the crowd, much yes. like Selena. That's true. So where did where did Sumate go? Did he go back to the back? I don't know. This place is so packed out. 
can't really I tell. Right? Him. I don't see him. I my don't ringside. see his feathers. So uh, that's that's interesting. I mean, you have Johnny well, Jay Davis celebrating, maybe a little too quick. There oh. is the rider coming out of nowhere. The Texas in wild the card in the cowboy world. They might call that putting the boots to you. Yes. Stomping mud hole, walking it dry. Oh, oh, rear end, is that what we're calling that? I mean, there's a whole lot there. Uh -huh. that's, that's a lot of impact. <laughs> it's okay, I've known him for a long picking time. Up, I can say that. Picking up tribal. Right. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. The gunshot chop from Ransom, big clothesline, but Both tribal is a large man. Very big in size, not off his feet. There he is, taking two. Close lines to take him down. You know, we've seen a lot of uh, first timers here tonight at UPW, Tribal being one of them, and I've been impressed with every single I, one. And that's the thing about Pasadena. Pasadena has made its 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 home here in UPW as almost like a like a ground for new people to to show what they have. Yes. Or can they hang with this UPW roster? Every time we're in Pasadena, we see a lot of newcomers, um, and I just find that very interesting. Look at those big fists. Rottweiler just got booped in the mouth. Now, now he's got a boot in the face. Tribal making his way around the ring. No, Tribal's taking a seat. That's what he's doing. Hey, he's taking a rest. And maybe he's heard about how amazing Jay Davis and Kid Ransom are in a ring together, and he wants to take a front row. I think he took somebody's popcorn. <laughs> I might like Tribal a little more than I thought. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm envious of his feathers. Big forearm bringing Ransom down. Ransom is a... And again, Ransom is no lightweight. Oh! Jay Davis with his patented jaw jacker, I think they call it. Because Kid Ransom's jaw is now jacked. Yes. Oh, look! He explodes oh. off the canvas. That's the one thing about Jay Davis that always, always makes me lose my breath a little bit. Yeah. It's his way that he can just explode out of nowhere. Yes. He definitely has that explosiveness to him. Oh, Ooh, that, oh no. that's just pissing oh, him off. Not and again. this is what gives oh. Kid Ransom his Texas wild card Double name. Flat. You just never know what's going to come out of him. Oh, oh. yes. Kick. That is impactful. Kid Ransom oh. kind of savoring his own work here. Not taking the eyes off Well, I think Blade. he was locking eyes with Johnny Blade. He was. And again, look at the, the, the look on Ransom's face through that makeup. It's almost sinister. But you can't turn your back. Oh, oh and there's Tribal. Especially in a three-way. You cannot turn your back on both of your opponents. you got to have eyes in the back of your head in a three-way. What are you saying about Tribal, Abel Morales? You saying I that he snuck in there? That we can't trust him? What are you saying? No, I'm just saying it's a three-way matchup. You okay, gotta look at okay. everybody. Okay, I'm just checking. I'm just making sure we're on the same page, Abel. What are you trying to do? I'm just making sure we're on the same page, my friend. Uh -huh. Big chop from Ransom. Chevy trying to get me stabbed. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I mean, I may. out of the three people at this table, I wish it was both of <laughs> you. <laughs> not me. I'm your ride home. <laughs> you are. Dang it. Back to beautiful Santa Steven Bay, Steven Steller. <laughs> If these gentlemen get stabbed, you'll give me a ride home. All right, Steven Seller got to me. All We're right, back in. All right, here we go. That was a two count, by the way. <laughs> While you're negotiating your ride home so that murder could take a place here at the commentary booth, there was a two count in the ring. Yeah. You should pay attention. We are. <laughs> uh, Johnny Blade is a little Ooh, concerned. Ooh, Jay Davis asking the, asking the crowd to politely quiet down. Yeah, we heard that. <laughs> Not sure what Johnny Blade is doing. He looks like he's up to something, but the action going pacing. on in the ring. And his guy Johnny is Blade actually, coming. His is he guy's making got his the way upper hand. back to the commentary table. Oh, he's coming back here for that Texas title, that championship are belt. We, are we supposed to be watching this? I tried to grab it. It's our it's, uh, showing Jay Davis what could be his a bit in this match. And Jay Davis oh. looking strong. Big clothesline, bringing the big man down. That's Johnny Blade hopping he's up and down. Happy. He, he was creating an earthquake when he was hopping up and down over here. I felt the vibrations. Now, was that, was that a fat joke, Abel Morales? That was what, a, what are you trying to say against Abel people today, of the plus size? <laughs> today, you've, uh, you've caused some problems. I, I don't know. I it mean, doesn't I happen to one that, that is. I mean, Ransom calling for it. I've seen a lot of, uh, I don't know, negativity come from this side of the commentary booth. It's not made by me. Oh! Big close line. <laughs> okay. Oh, big elbow. That was a back elbow, yes, sir. 
Looks like uh, Kid Ransom. Oh, oh no, I was going to say, nobody has oh, it. Chop. Big chop right in between oh, the eyes. It more like a tomahawk. Yeah, it did. Oh, uh, two counts. Two, yep. Hamblin right there, call it right down the middle. You know, the, the one thing it. about... One thing about what? Handbone. Finish your thought. <laughs> like Jay Davis came in out of nowhere, <laughs> broke up what was going down, got it, got it threw me off a little bit. I was going to say one thing about Handbone. What did it? He's a national, He's a national treasure. treasure. Uh, no, no matter where you're from, <laughs> Cowboys, agree. Indians, Jay Davis. Uh, the mean streets of the dog pound. Oh, oh my lord! His torso Spear went one way, and his half. back went the other way. We got Bart Harris standing at ringside right now. Yeah, Bart Harris is very interested in this matchup. So, so let's talk a little bit about this. I Last like time shirt. we saw Jay Davis and Bart Harris, he was throwing Bart Harris's pizzas around. That's true. Uh, you can say whatever about my mama. <laughs> don't, don't be messing with my pizza. Don't touch that pizza. Joey doesn't share food. What, what do you think is going on here with donor operator Bart Harris? Oh, Stunner. the ransom note Hold that is known up. One, as two, three. Bart Harris. Oh, my oh. God. And look over there. Bart oh Harris and Jay Davis. Bart Harris and Jay Davis are going at it. Kid Ransom drops the ransom note on Tribal. We got Hawk oh, Security. Now ransom to Johnny Blade's face. Johnny, like Johnny Blade. Johnny Blade's Who's about to get it. Out of Bart Harris and Jay Davis. Johnny Blade is in the I'm ring. Sorry. Johnny Blades in the ring. We got we got security out here finally Lord doing their job. He finally breaks it up. Oh my God! Johnny Blade is hot telling it out of here. The Cowboy Ransom's grabbing a chair. Jay Tom Davis Ron grabbing a chair. Bart Harris Bart grabbing Harris a chair. Has a chair. Jay Davis has a chair. The National Treasure hand bones in between them. This is the most insane thing I've ever. It is going down in Pasadena, Texas. This is undisputed pro wrestling battlefield, baby. Everybody's at you. Steven, give me a chair. Give me a chair. I have a chair now. You're standing it's on a chair. Going. I'm standing on a chair. It's all going down. You get a chair. You get a chair. Everybody you get a chair. a chair. Everybody has a chair. Fair Life Media, you get a chair. <laughs> where's, the, where's the popcorn vendor? Give them a chair. Why not? To stare down Ransom, throwing his chair down. Jay Davis throwing his chair oh, down. Oh, here we Here's go. This is what down. I live for. This is why I come to independent pro wrestling matches. And oh, they're going he's off. Down. Oh, hits him with another Ransom note in the middle of the ring. Stuck him. Stuck him out there. Of the ring. There we go, Kid Ransom. <laughs> Jay Davis caught up in the ropes, hanging upside down. And now... Oh, he's going to sit on top of him. He has the chair right across Jay Davis's throat. Kid Ransom calling for the, the microphone. I want you to send a message to your little lady punch. I'm going to take each and every one of you straight to hell. And then when I get my hands on Johnny, he's going to wish he was never born. I already wish he wasn't born. Wow. Oh my goodness, Kid Ransom with a message to Blade Enterprises. I can't believe it, folks. This was just complete chaos, complete pandemonium here at UPW Battlefield. We're going to have another championship match later tonight, the Cruiserweight Championship as well as the Heavyweight Championship, and it's going to be insane. But we also have some more interviews to get to. We're going to uh, get those taken care of here. Uh, easy for me to say, and I'm the one doing the interviews. Ransom is calling our commentator, Chevy. What? Chevy, where are you going? Chevy, he just Chevy, what are you doing? I was over here trying to wrap things up, and Chevy's going to the ring with the title belt. Oh, another Ransom note right. Oh, right to Tribal. Chevy, get in that ring and get that note. I thought. You get that note, Chevy. Anthony, I thought we were done. I, I, I thought we were going to get out of here, but no, that's not what happened. We need mullet security. We need interim commissioner Doug. We need everybody. Oh, man. They're supposed to be friends. What are we going to see? I mean, you know, I've been on the receiving end of, of Kid Ransom's mystic powers as well, and we're supposed to be friends, so I don't know what's going on here with Kid Ransom. I mean. Debbie's calling for a mic. Yeah. What is going on? Chevy's getting out of the ring with that mic, but he called for it. Okay, well, I think we're done. I think that's it. Oh, wow. We're going to have some more UPW action from here at Pasadena, Texas. This is going to be great. Thank you so much. Make sure you tune in.